Ready? Ready? Starting route to Planned Parenthood. Birth control. A moment happens in pretty much every young woman's life, maybe you're older, doesn't matter what age you are, where you realize you don't want to get pregnant, so maybe you should get on birth control. And I had that moment a few months ago, and I remember just kind of feeling nervous and scared and like it was the biggest burden, and I really didn't like how not a lot of people talk about it. So I'm talking about it today. I am especially making this video for any young girl out there. It's your life, it's your body, and you should do what you need to do. So I'm gonna talk about my experience with it. So I looked up my nearest Planned Parenthood and you can just walk in. So me and my friend Mackenzie, shout out to Mackenzie, looked up a Planned Parenthood and went. I need birth control. Oh, okay. Starting route to Planned Parenthood. It was in a mall actually that I go to all the time. I didn't even know they had one there. All right, we're, we're walking up. Right now. <laughs> and it's literally just um, at the Third Street Promenade, a place I've been many a time. Urban Outfitters right there. Do you want to go there instead? Come on, you got it. <laughs> hmm. So she has baby fever. So actually, <laughs> maybe this trip is for you. <laughs> How can I get pregnant the fastest, doctor? <laughs> it's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Easy peasy pap smear squeezy. <laughs> I was super nervous. I'm just gonna walk you through what it was like. Okay, so I walked into the doors of Planned Parenthood and I just walked in and I went straight to the front window and I think I gave the lady my ID and then she gave me a paper to fill out about just, you know, basic info like your name, where you live, your income level. I think a lot of what they do is make it affordable for you to get the care you need. So income level, basic medical history, all that stuff. It just takes a few minutes, give the paper back. And it was definitely a very interesting experience experience being in the waiting room of Planned Parenthood. It's super vulnerable to be there. So everyone's there for different reasons. There's all sorts of people. You know, there's someone like me who's never been. There was another girl that checked in who, she sounded a little bit nervous. She was younger. She was like, this is my first time coming here. Right after she walked in, there was a woman who looked to be in her 50s who was super casual about it, who was just like, oh, hey, yeah, you know, I've been here tons of times, but it's been years, but I'm here just for a checkup. There was a couple there. They look kind of nervous. There's a couple Couple guys, couple other girls. A lot of people were there like with someone just because it's something you're like, I want to I wanna bring my mom because I'm, I don't want to bring my mom because this is about sex, so it's weird now. I really hope my parents aren't watching. It kind of felt like being at the DMV, like sit and wait for your name to be called and you don't want to be there. I don't feel like it was a judgmental place at all. They try to make you feel comfortable. So I waited in the waiting room for probably about 30 minutes until my name was called. A nurse took me to the back room and just kind of checked my vital things like my weight, my height, my blood pressure. And then she took me into this kind of counseling room it was called where she just asked me what I wanted. I was like, I want birth control. And she asked me why and I said to control births to which she laughed at that. It was funny, but I was also just kind of like, okay, that's what I want it for. For me personally, literally just so I don't get pregnant. I just don't want that at this point in my life or maybe ever. I don't know. I just can't imagine having a child. So she was like, all right, cool. Go back to the waiting room. So I waited probably another 30 minutes and then a doctor called me in. I was super nervous because I was like, oh, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna have to take my clothes off? It was super chill. I sat down. She was like, okay, hi, Monica. I'm gonna prescribe you this. This is how it works. Do you have any questions? I was in the room for no more than five minutes. I was like, no, not really. She's like, cool, you can go pick it up tonight. Now I am going to the pharmacy to pick up my prescription. Um, let's go. So I got it right here, but I was super nervous to take it because uh, I'm really nervous right now. Yesterday I went and I got the birth control. I have it, I picked it up from the pharmacy. This is Blissavi Fe 120. I guess there's different dosage amounts that you could have. They explain this is kind of like a lower dose thing. The instructions are pretty simple. You take it once a day. You have to take it around the same time. That's when it's the most effective. So I waited till the morning. My mornings are always super chill and I know I just wouldn't forget. I would make it a part of my morning routine. I'm about 
about to take it for the first time and I'm really freaking nervous actually. I don't know if that's a normal emotion people have, but I just hate putting medication into my body and it just like seems unfair. Like, God, why do I have to like do this to my body? You know what I mean? Like I just, part of me is like, is this really good for you? Probably not. With birth control comes a lot of side effects and I've heard so many horror stories from all my friends about things like getting a lot of headaches or gaining a ton of weight or just having these mood swings that make you a total, it can cause depression. This scares me. I don't know if anyone talks about that. Now let's open it. Here we have it. Come on, little guy. Okay, show you guys on my terribly unmanicured fingers. Here's what it looks like. So now, all I gotta do is take this every single day around 9.30. I guess that's the story of me getting birth control. So that clip was about three months ago. Now I am on my third pack of these. It's been like three months and I just kind of wanted to update you guys on what it's been like. So with this, I have to take it every day around the same time, which is fine. I'm not a very forgetful person. I just set a timer on my phone for about the same time every day and I've never missed a pill or anything. It's definitely kind of annoying to have another thing in life to think about. I've only kind of had two weird-ish side effects. I've been so emotional, kind of, I think. I notice like I cry a lot. And I'm not sad, but I'll just cry really easily. And then I'll be crying and I'll be like, why am I crying? <laughs> like, stop. Okay, I used to never be like this. Never, ever, ever. I used to never be like this. In general, I am a pretty emotional person and I cry easily. So I think this has just heightened that a little bit more. The other weird thing is I've gotten my period like twice this month and that's just kind of rude. I don't want that. Uh, I mean, it's not really that bad or anything, but it's just weird and annoying that it just comes unexpectedly and I'm just like, what? why um but hopefully that normals out those are really the only kind of side effects symptoms that i noticed i think it's been very minimal because they gave me a low dosage so i'm really happy with just this brand or whatever blasavife it's called yeah please don't go to your doctor and say that i recommended you try this just let them recommend for you so as far as payment of everything at planned parenthood too i didn't have my insurance card on me and they couldn't really look up my insurance for some reason so i I told them, okay, whatever, I'll just pay for it out of pocket, which is the thing people do. Like if you're younger and like your parents don't know you're going there and you don't want it on the insurance, like it's a thing people do. But for me personally, out of pocket, it was $90. So that's something to know. If you're like younger and going there and you don't wanna do insurance or whatever, like it's kind of expensive. But the actual birth control itself, when I pick it up from the pharmacy, it's free. But I think that is on my insurance. I'm mainly making this video because I just really hope if there's any like, young girl out there watching this who doesn't feel comfortable talking to their parents or friends or something about it, I just want you to know like it's okay. You should definitely just go to Planned Parenthood. They don't make you do anything you don't wanna do. You just ask for what you need and they'll give it to you. It's really awesome. So that's basically it guys. I'm on birth control and not getting pregnant anytime soon. Let's hope it keeps working, knock on something. Comment down below your experience with birth control if you're on it or if you ever have been and the first time you went to the doctor for this sort of thing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just down there, click the button. And follow me on Instagram at Monica Church. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.